Hi everyone, so let's have a quick intro of Nest.js like what is Nest.js like let's say ki you are totally new to Nest.js and how can you get an initial idea about what is Nest.js so, so Nest.js is a Node.js framework that is true and it's a progressive Node.js framework for building efficient reliable server side application I mean that is the definition from uh, their website and it's MVC based that means you can create a model view controller structure for building the APIs in the next year. It has a nice community uh, which has a lots of built in package so you don't need to worry about integrating things with the database, logging, security, streaming. Uh, if you lo look into uh, npmgs.com you can find all the packages provided by the Nest.js community. SCS can be used for uh, building REST APIs, GraphQL APIs, or WebSocket interface. I mean, there are, you can build anything. It has these common building blocks: like controllers, services, providers, exception filters, pipes. All these things you will be just using to build your APIs or interface, like middleware, exception filters, pipes. These are core building blocks of NestJS, which you will be writing uh, for building anything in the NestJS. Nest.js provides this nice CLI interface using which you can create controllers, routes, you can create providers, you can create services. Everything is controlled through the Nest CLI. And it's really powerful CLI tool which can help you to build modules, components in the Nest.js. Nest.js is a platform agnostic that means you can create REST APIs, GraphQL APIs or WebSocket interfaces. Whatever you are able to do with the Express or any other framework all those things Nest.js also provides. Uh, Nest.js is a platform agnostic. That means whatever you are doing with the Express, like building the REST APIs, GraphQL API, WebSocket interface, all those things you can also build with the Nest.js. Nest.js has a nice integration with all the external external interfaces. Let's say you want to expose an API, Nest.js Swagger. You want to work with a JWT token, uh, then Nest.js provide a Nest.js Passport, Nest.js JWT, all these modules are helper modules to work with the external interfaces. So these are integrations. Let's say you want to work with the Mongoose, Nest.js Mongoose, Nest.js Type ORM, Nest.js SQLize, or Nest.js, uh, I mean Prisma has its own interfaces. But Nest.js provide all these integration modules available. And Nest.js has everything. That means Nest.js has a full support of TypeScript. It also uses the RxJS, Reactive Programming Interfaces. I mean, Nest.js is inspired by Angular. So in Angular, you might have used RxJS, uh, observables, and reactive functional programming, and heavily on TypeScript. And Nest.js is totally inspired by Angular. So you will see the Angular, the type of modules, providers, how we are importing, exporting modules from one another. All those things are inherited or inspired from the Angular design. Nest.js code organization is actually uh, really nice, and that is the one of the most important feature why people want to move to the Nest.js when they want to build APIs. They want a consistent folder structure across different teams or pro across different projects. So Nest.js provide all these uh, best code organization. You are writing controllers, providers. I mean, you are creating all these different building blocks, shared block, shared modules, core modules. So you can have nice code organization using all these things. In Nest.js, we mostly will be creating controllers, controllers to expose the API interfaces and services which contains the data and the modules which is encapsulating all these things together. Like it, uh, modules are combining the, your controllers, your uh, external services, the, your internal services, the providers it is like encapsulating everything and then it is it is sending this module to the Nest.js uh, bootstrap mechanism to initialize the whole application. Nest.js can be bootstrapped with either express adapter or you can also change the adapter to the fastify adapter. So that is the really nice thing, right? You love fastify, use fastify adapter and build your APIs. If you are just fine with the express adapter, because Nest.js is just like a abstraction on top of uh, your HTTP adapter provided by express or fastify. One of the most important thing is Nest.js provide microservices interfaces also. That means you can build microservices using Nest.js to different transport mode like TCP based microservices, EMQP, uh, event driven microservices or request and reply microservices using uh, gRPC. 
so you can just use a grpc kafka rabbitmq all these different transport modes to provide a communication between different microservices so this is all about uh, basic introduction about nest js let's get started we will just get started with the basic projects where we will start talking about uh, basic building blocks now we know how nest js is doing better on code organization and lot of different fronts when we compare it with express so now it's the right time to learn and deep dive into nest js